me, the, the field of environmental, environmental forensics is, is kind of a merge of uh, having environmental chemistry and, and the world of forensic sciences in, in, in one place. So in that sense, I have to use it, I have to use it every day. People that, that work in forensic science are very familiar with the rules of evidence, how to collect evidence, how to preserve evidence. On the environmental side, we're more uh, interested on, uh, on finding, understanding, uh, you know, how chemicals behave. Uh, if you have a spill of, of some, some kind of nature, and the most common one would be an oil spill, you could potentially track it back to a specific vessel that did the spill. If you have a sewage spill, for example, it's a little bit different in where you are only going to track it to a ruptured pipe, but that ruptured pipe is responsibility of a specific entity. We want to go in there and apply all our environmental techniques, but then being able to trace all that back to uh, either an entity or a specific process that we can actually defend in a, in a, in a court of law. That's, in, that's as important to us as for the forensic scientists to be able to uh, present the evidence that we stand all, all the legal processes and challenges. So it's, it's based on, on solid scientific uh, knowledge and then it's, it, it meets all, all the typical rule of evidence.